All right, well, hey everyone, this is uh, Mike Shaw. We're gonna be talking about the difference between Adobe Lightroom and Adobe Lightroom Classic. What is the difference? So on the left, you can see the icon that you get when you open up Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. That's the new online version of Lightroom. And on the right, you can see the uh, icon you get when you open up the classic version of uh, Lightroom, Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, okay, all right, we've got both programs opened up here. The uh, Lightroom is on the left and Lightroom Classic is on the right. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the uh, Lightroom Classic. That's this one over here. I'm gonna expand the screen. And this is the one that probably most of us are the most familiar with. We've been using this one for years. It's got the usual set of uh, icons um, if you, in your different uh, folders. Here I have them organized by you know, hard drive um, by year, really by year and by month, so chronologically. And any one of these images we can go through and select and then edit using the uh, develop module, which is up here. I'm going to click on where it says develop. And then you can see you have a choice of a number of things. Here's a, uh, an airplane that went by, so we could get rid of that using our spot removal tool. If we so chose something like this, whoa, let's just do that. And you can see it, it does a pretty good job of that. So this is a, you know, this is a standard um, uh, editing module that we would use for, uh, that we've probably been using for a long time. So there's, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time talking about that. So let's go ahead and put that back into its spot. And then now we're gonna take a look at the Adobe Lightroom, which is this one on the left. I'm gonna expand this one onto the full screen. But before I do that, uh, there's one thing I did wanna say. One big difference is that when we're using the Lightroom Classic, which is this one on the right, all of the files are stored on your local hard drive. So your laptop or your desktop or your external hard drives or your camera card. But these are files that you have uh, with you. And um, in contrast to that, the Adobe Lightroom system adopts the cloud approach. So all the images that you're using, yours, uh, and others, for, as we'll get to in a minute, are not on your local drive, but up in the, your uh, Adobe account in the cloud. So that's a big difference because in that mode, you can access those really from anywhere. Uh, they have internet access, you can edit them, or even if you don't, you can access them in your uh, Lightroom app. But um, that's one big difference I wanted to say between the two systems is just when you go thinking about how you're gonna use these, you know, where will you store the images and uh, how much space do you need for them? So I'm now gonna go ahead and uh, just take a, a couple of minutes going through some of the, the neat things about the Adobe Lightroom that you might like to know. First thing is when you open it up, <laughs> you're not gonna see your images, you're gonna see a bunch of images from a lot of other people. And the reason for that are these are all um, edits that these folks have shared with the Lightroom community. So what I mean by that is you, can, is you hover your mouse over any one of these, I'm using my uh, desktop right now, you can sort of see the before and after, before and after version of each one, before and after, before and after. So you can really see how the photographers edited each one of these images into the thing that you actually see. And this can be really helpful because sometimes there's an effect that you're like, how on earth did they do that? And this allows you to see how they did that. So for example, if we come down here and uh, I don't know, pick this, let's pick this yellow flower. For example, you can see when you click on that like that and open it up, these are the edits um, that the uh, photographer applied to achieve this end result. And in fact, when you hit this play button right here, you can play this and it actually steps you through uh, each edit. So you can actually see what the um, effect does as you go through, for example, here's a clarity, here comes the dehaze, here comes a vignette and so forth. So that could be really helpful because if there's some part of some image that you're curious about, I'm gonna go back here to the main thing you can actually see what that, um, you know, you can actually see what the photographer did to achieve that particular effect. So that's a really cool thing. Um, and sometimes you can see like, my goodness, I mean, they came, the thing that came off the camera is nowhere near as cool as the thing that they ended up with. So um, that's really a neat thing. And there's a lot of times the photographer will do things that are a lot different than what I might do, you know, instinctively or just uh, from my years of experience. And it's really a great way to, uh, to learn some some new some new tricks and finally i don't know if you can see it but up here in the right where it says remix this aspect i'll come back to this in a later tutorial allows you to combine this image the uh, photographer has essentially given you permission to remix this image with one of your own so that's really a kind of a neat thing so those are the discover if you look up here in the upper left where it says discover this is those are all accessed under the discover um, 
inspirational, uh, the daily inspiration, if you will, and you can search for uh, different uh, topics here in the search uh, box. Now, the other main thing that's new with Lightroom is this Learn um, set of assets, and these are a little bit more involved. So these are different. These are very similar. I mean, they're uh, examples that the uh, photographer has um, created and um, shared with you. But if we search for, let's say, I don't know, let's look for night. I know that there's one in there by someone you'll recognize. So here's one from uh, Mike Shaw. And when we click on this, the, the little explanation here, but what this really is designed, the way these are, these tutorials are designed is that you actually do the adjustments. So we're going to look description here. So for example, it starts off by telling you what to do and giving you a little prompt. You can see that little blue prompt here. It says, emphasize the Milky Way by lightening the bright tones. So the idea is that I'm going to now slide that over to the, the, oh, it turned blue. So that means I must have done it right. So I'm going to bring the darkening the dark tones down. There it goes. So you can actually step through. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. But you can step through the different stages of the editing process. And you can see the before and after. Here's another one I did with the, uh, the Aurora Borealis. And there's several uh, other examples like that. And again, it's really cool because you can say like, okay, well, how do they do that? And you can actually look at it and see uh, what's done. So now getting to your own images, um, so these are a couple of really useful inspirational and learning assets that are available to you through the Lightroom, uh, through the Lightroom, uh, Adobe Lightroom. But then when you see where it says all photos, that's actually your photo. So if you want to, if you want to add a photograph, for example, here's a, a summary of some of the images that I've uploaded over the past several months during different projects and things. But if you want to add a photo, you can, um, here's one I added just a little while ago, you can uh, you know, if you come up over here to the right, you can basically, yeah, when you click on add photos, you then upload the image, you choose it and upload it to the cloud. Now this image, this is a raw file straight off my camera. Uh, this is from a workshop uh, last May when we were photographing the uh, lunar eclipse. This is the night before we're getting ready for it. And if you look up here on the right, you can see these are the usual tools that are available to you from uh, the uh, Discover or uh, sorry, the develop module in uh, Lightroom Classic. So we'll go through these in a separate tutorial. That's not really the point of uh, today's, um, uh, of this particular tutorial. But those are all there in the Adobe Lightroom uh, app, and they work just the same way as they do in the Lightroom Classic. So so that's really about it. I mean, you really have, uh, again, your, all your own photos are here. These are all different categories for things I'm doing. And then you have these learn, you have the uh, tutorials, and then you have the discover edits, and of uh, which you can share your own. So that's really about it. So I hope you found that useful and thanks for listening.